the first thing I would say is that it is very important to really understand that creativity is literally, the way I see it, is literally like a muscle. And this is a muscle that you can train, but at the same time, this is also a muscle that you need to understand when you are kind of fatigued, right? Like every muscle, when you are fatigued, you also need to rest and let it recover so that you can once again utilize it to its best capacity. So therefore, if we understand it this way, then if at the moment you feel like you're not creative enough and you, you need some more boost, boost in, t in terms of your creativity, maybe the first step is to start thinking outside of the box and outside of how you usually think about your creativity, how you usually approach your freestyle training, you know, things like that. So that would be, that would kind of uh, help you um, lay back a little bit more and not um, put, to, and do not and you're not putting too much pressure on the fact that okay I don't feel creative at the moment right so that would be the first step do you f maybe in order to go to the next level it's probably um, the answer is just to kind of uh, you know chill out a bit more I don't know your situation right now this is what I'm saying that will be maybe the first step now that being said another thing you can also do is that you want to identify what have you been doing over and over and over and over and over again and you've been getting very little results so if you've been putting like 20 80% of your work doing something right maybe it's time for you to now step back and analyze based on the the efforts that I've been putting, what are my results so far, right? So that's another thing to consider. So if you feel like, okay, I've been training in a certain way for the past six months, but I don't see this giving me, you know, so much joy or giving me so much result, you know, and things like that, then this might be crippling or uh, creep this might cripple your creativity right so once again you need to identify this so step back and on the, and analyze all right what are the things that i've been doing recently you know when it comes to my training that i've been doing them very consistently but i don't get that much result and based on that this will also help you transition to another strategy to a different strategy okay because creativity works best when it seems easy and it's come easily to you you know when you have creative ideas when you have things you know coming very easily to you um you don't force it right creativity is not certain is something that you actually force it actually comes to you very naturally because you condition yourself to be in a certain state of mind right and when you are able to do that then the the the, the create your your creativity is at its peak level right so it's all about finding ways to kind of condition yourself to be ready to receive you know the best ideas that you want and i'm saying this also in the moment when you are training right so that's that's the second thing i would say it's probably time for you to really start identifying okay maybe i need to make some adjustment in my way of training and or or the information that i've been gathering you know or or the approach that, that i've been utilizing so far you know so that's what i would say hey thank you for watching this video i really appreciate it and before you go if you'd like to know how to train more effectively and 
push your freestyle dance to a whole new level, then Beyond the Move might be exactly what you're looking for. You see, I've partnered with some of the best freestyle dancers in the world to share their knowledge with you so that you can know what to work on and how to work on it to progress much faster than ever before. So if that sounds good and you'd like to know more about this, simply click on the link in the description below and you can start your free trial today. All right, so uh, I'll see you on the other side. Take care, bye-bye.